Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to use the replay mod to render a video. We've made a video on how to actually download the replay mod, so if you're looking for that tutorial, click the first link in the description. However, if you want to learn how to use it, then let's get straight to it. Firstly, you'll just want to tweak a few settings on the mod so rendering and editing go smoothly. When you're in your game's main menu, you want to head over to the replay viewer button. Then you want to click on the settings button on the right. When this screen pops up, just make sure that the settings on the screen match your settings. I have turned off automatic recording, but you can turn it on. All it does is automatically start recording when you enter a server or a world. You can also turn the recording indicator on, meaning this will pop up on the screen whenever you record. However, this isn't mandatory or needed. When you're done, click done, and now we're going to get on to recording replay content. To record a replay video, you can do this by heading into a server or a single player world. I'll be heading into one of my servers and waiting for it to load. When you're inside, you just have to press escape and then press start recording to start your video. I'll be walking around and acting as if I'm playing casually. It's important to note that the camera records everything that is loaded by the server. If you're in a single player world, it records the chunks that are loaded. When you're done with your recording, you just have to press escape. There is an option to pause recording and continue later, but for the sake of this video, I'll be stopping it. You don't get a notification stating your video is done recording, instead you'll have to return to Minecraft's main menu. There you'll see confirmation of your video saving if you see saving replay file. Now, to be able to edit that video, you have to head into Replay Viewer as mentioned before. You'll see a list of your recordings here when you make them. When you select a video, you have the option of renaming the video title, editing the video a little bit or deleting the recording itself. For now, I'll just be double clicking it so I can edit the recording in detail. When you're inside the replay video editor, there are a few options you have. Firstly, if you play the recording, you'll see it goes at real time. Your character walks around normally. However, with the speed slider at the top, you can make your character walk in slow motion or super fast. This is a really good tool for speed builds or dramatic slow motion shots you might want. If you want to move your camera around instead of using your mouse, you can press escape and that'll let you move around freely. To go back to using the cursor, simply press T. Some of the features on the interface are of course pausing and playing the recording, adding position keyframes and time keyframes, and rendering the recording. The bar at the top here is the duration of the recording you've made. For example, if you want to skip forward, you just have to click somewhere ahead on that bar. The bar below that is what determines the duration of the render, which is where the keyframes will be added to when you place them. Not only that, but there are some basic controls that this mod features. To check those out, just press on the three bars at the bottom left and this will appear. There are a lot of features here, for example, N will capture a thumbnail so the recording save goes from looking like this to looking like this. There are options to roll clockwise and counterclockwise so instead of a straight camera you can make cool shots like this. To reset the camera tilt you just have to press K. You can add an event marker, meaning that spot will be highlighted for future use but won't be rendered. This is useful if you have a lot of things going on in the recording and don't want to forget where something is. Toggle lighting is just that, it will toggle lighting, making the scene of your shot look a little better and not so dark. Player overview is an important feature. If you click it you'll see that you can spectate a player or you can make them not show up in the recording by unticking visible. Not just that but if you press on a player's name it'll take you to wherever they are in the world. This is super useful if your character has walked off scene and you have no idea where they are. Since this sends you into first person viewpoint of your character this means you can also make a recording in first person which will look like this. Moving on, there's also a quick mode feature. If you're having trouble running replay mod or it's a little bit laggy for you, we recommend running quick mode as it removes particles, the first layer of a player's skin and other features that could slow down your PC. Other than that, these are the controls that you'll most likely have to use. So now that we have that out of the way, we can move on to actually recording a replay path so we can render a video. Now that we've gone over controls, we can start editing the replay recording, also known as creating a camera path. At the top, just click on the part of the recording you want to skip to. I found a starting frame I really like here, so I'll be clicking on these two buttons. This adds a position keyframe and a time keyframe. It's important you do this or else you'll have issues rendering your video properly later on. You can then click escape and move your camera around. You'll be able to see the actual location of your markers. Then you can press play to keep watching and see where you want to add your next keyframe or you can skip forward with the top bar. Okay, so for our second part of the camera path, I found a shot I like, so I'll be adding the two keyframes here. From here, you'll physically be able to see your camera path if you move your camera around, making it easier to see where you want to take your next keyframes. You can also check out if your recording is moving along okay by dragging the player from the bottom bar to the start. Then press play camera path from cursor position. I can see that when I let the path play, the keyframes and everything is playing out how I wanted it to, so we can continue adding more keyframes. 
You don't have to add more frames however, if you're happy with what you've done so far you can move on to the next section of the video. I'll be adding a tilt to the replay by pressing L and adding the two keyframes needed in the position I want them. However, when you're done and you're happy with the layout of your camera path, you're ready to render the recording. Now that we're done with everything, we just have to press the render camera path button. That'll pop up this menu screen, there are some important steps here so make sure you pay close attention. At the top, make sure that the rendering method is set to default rendering. Then make sure that the encoding preset is set to MP4 custom bitrate. For lower end PCs, we recommend setting the bitrate to around 20. If you have a higher end PC, you can set it to 50. This will ensure quality of your render is higher. You can adjust the size of your video rendering by changing the resolution here. Then in the output file button, this is where your rendered video will be saved to. As default, it'll be saved to a folder in the Minecraft folder called replay underscore videos. If you scroll down, there are some more advanced settings you can adjust. Rendering name tags just means when your character is on screen that the username will show up. I don't want that for this shot, so I'll be leaving it. There are more settings you can edit down here, which are usually used for experimenting with green screens and camera motion. We recommend you have a play around with those and see what you like. However, when you're all done, you can click render for the recording part Path to start rendering. You'll know it's rendering when this screen shows up. You can pause rendering if you'd like or you can even see a preview of what's being rendered. Nonetheless, you'll be alerted when the replay is finished rendering with a sound effect. If your rendering fails though and you see a screen saying rendering failed, you need to have FMPEG installed, we've made a video on how you can fix that issue. We leave a link to that in the description. But now that the render is complete, we can check it out by heading to our desktop and pressing the Windows key and the R key at the same time. When this window pops up, you just have to type percentage, updated percentage and press enter. Then in the files explorer window, look for the .minecraft folder. Then look for a folder named replay underscore videos. When you open it, you'll be able to see all of your rendered replay recordings there. I can see the recording I just rendered. Here you can also watch the recording you've made again, you can drag it elsewhere or basically basically do anything you want with it. But you're all done, you followed this tutorial correctly, now go make an awesome movie in Minecraft. Well that's it for this video, if you have any more questions make sure to leave them down below and if you enjoyed this video subscribe to see more from my channel. Thank you for watching!